I think there has to be more than knowledge to a breakthrough performance, because if knowledge all it, was all it took, you know, we, we could all read the book and we'd all be champions. And that's obviously not true. So there are three other elements in my experience that if knowledge isn't the issue, then the issue will show up under one or more of these three, and I call them faith, fire, and focus. Now, faith, this isn't religious faith, this is what you believe about yourself, and if you're trying to help others, what you believe about others has a massive effect on performance. Lots of studies done in schools, done with corporate executives, show that what you believe about the people you're coaching or leading will have a huge effect on them. In fact, they'll perform to what you believe. And it's the same with us as individuals. What we believe about ourselves, well, that's what we'll perform to. Uh, FIRE is all about passion and energy, commitment, willingness to go the extra mile, and focus is all about what we pay attention to. And these three things all affect each other. Actually, the four things all affect each other. So what you focus on in your early years is what creates your beliefs, your faith. Once you have formulated those beliefs, that'll filter and direct what you focus on. So if you can get those two things pointed in the right direction, it'll raise the fire, it'll make the attitude positive, and it'll make learning knowledge or using knowledge much easier. If you get them pointed in the wrong direction, it'll tend to lower the fire, it'll tend to make the attitude negative, and it'll make learning knowledge and using knowledge more difficult. So the trick is about getting balance between them. And you can recognize when people la lack faith, um, I would call that uh, insecurity. They're always asking for permission before they do anything. Uh, they're looking for reassurance all the time. When they lack fire, I call that indifference. And you know, if you possess a teenager, that's a, often a perfect example of it. And if, uh, when they lack focus, then that shows up as inconsistency to me. So dealing with, unless you deal with that which interferes with faith, fire, and focus, you can't make best use of knowledge. And that's why, you know, if we went back to the golf for a minute, that's why people, they take endless golf lessons, they read the magazines, and their handicap stays stuck at the same level. And it's because they don't deal with the kind of driver of all that knowledge, which is this faith, fire, and focus. And actually, if you get people in that right state, they need much less knowledge than they first think.